every time you work with Rachel, she has such amazing inspiration. So tell us about who, who, inspiration. Yeah. Look at the color, look at all the vibrant prints, look at all this. Um, I know that one of the things that she talked about was whimsical. She also talked about um, an artist. So what straight went to my head was a ponytail. Because I know that any artist that I know that's a painter or a sculptor or anything, she does not necessarily have her hair down. She has her hair up. But what's great about this particular ponytail, and for hairdressers to know that ponytails tend to sometimes be the hardest thing in the world to do, right? But what's great is that you put the ponytail in the middle of the head versus putting it at the top or at the bottom, of, at the nape of the neck. Because I always say the higher the ponytail, the more kind of cheerleader. The lower the ponytail, the more kind of um, too sophisticated. So I wanted somewhere in between because it's very whimsical. Um, it's very sexy, as you'll notice, um, because I don't know any woman that doesn't want to be sexy. And um, it's a great, come here. As you can see, look how great this ponytail is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Say hi. Turn around this. Hi. Oh, sorry, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> very, very beautiful. <laughs> see, anytime you do that to a girl, you have her in the palm of your hands. It never works for me, only for you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and what about her clothing? I'm getting I'm just getting a taste of her clothing. I mean, she always has such beautiful, you know, powerful stuff for, for yeah, women and just absolutely. what about her clothing? Well, I think very sexy. Um, lots of bright colors, lots of vibrant textures. Um, also, um, I think it's very whimsical. It's very, very, very beautiful. But at the same time, it's really chic. And at the same time, it's very wearable. I know that's one of the things that she wanted for it to be wearable. So I've been looking at the makeup and it looks so natural and so soft. Tell us about the inspiration this season. Well, the inspiration for the Rachel Roy collection is um, a very modern, wearable makeup. And it is a girl that wears these beautiful uptown clothes, but she probably hangs out in the High Line and goes to a lot of the really cool galleries. So, you know, the makeup is a little toned down, not like all perfect, but it's a beachy, bronzy look that we adapted for the city. Very nice. And I'm working with Ted Gibson, and you guys always work so well together. We do. Yeah, we he, do. He, the hair is very simple, nice, sleek kind of ponytail, too. So I uh, love a high ponytail. I think everybody looks good with a high ponytail. Rachel, how are you? Happy Fashion Week. Hi, happy Fashion Week. Thank you. Nice to see you. I was talking to Ted Gibson, who is your hairstylist, and you always work with Ted, and you guys work so well together. I love your inspirations from the last couple seasons, whether it's a movie, whether it's Earth, all these different things. So tell us about this season, what you have going on. This season, um, Spring 2013, was really created from the idea of um, mixing prints and balancing them in a way that you start from maybe very opposite ideas, kind of like the print that I'm wearing is actually in the show. So skulls and birds and, and how does something that theoretically can appear to be so different really um, have such a beauty and a coolness and an ease to it. And how that translates into hair is sometimes when women have a lot of color or a lot of print going on, um, I like for them to balance. And so for me, because I do have a lot of color, I have a lot of print in this collection, I really wanted something quite effortless and ease, and ease to it. And Ted is just the master of that. And so he kind of suggested this very effortless, carefree ponytail. Um, of course, there's a lot of effort put into it to get it just right. Um, for me because he, he's just a, such a genius at that. But the idea is we both like to make as many women as possible feel um, that they're a part of this if they want to be. And so I wanted to style the collection in a way that had an ease to it. I wanted the hair to have an ease to it. Also women can feel like they can do this themselves at home. I don't really ever want to create something where a woman looks at it and says that I just I, that's not me. I could never do that. The idea is to give women new ideas for their life to really enrich their life and make their lives easier. And Bobby Brown, who you you work with, also she's great and also with the makeup too. Very simple and very soft. I like that. You know. Yeah. Again, the story is reminding women that when they have a lot going on on the outside, which with prints and color it can be a lot on the outside, um, simplify it with with your makeup. And she's just the master of skin. And so a clean, beautiful um, face, again, can take effort. Um, she filled in the brow for me where I really do feel that if you have a strong brow, it frames your face and you don't need much mascara. Um, what I love about Bobby is that she will, for all of my models, she'll choose colors based on um, their skin tone. So she changes the color a bit per model, which is very important to me.